Okay, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Sunny Potato, where we'll be making our doggo app nicer. So what we have currently is uh, fetching the image and the data and displaying it. But um, if I choose, yeah, if I choose another um, another breed and then another, I can see that the descriptions are actually being stacked up one above the other. And this is not what I want. This is actually correct because we write it that way that the new element is always created and then uh, is being appended to the parent element. But we have to take care of clearing the old nodes before we add the new ones. So let's do just that. I will clear, create a function called clear the go description. Okay, and this is gonna be pretty easy, I hope. The fact is I'm more experienced with React.js when this would be uh, no problem, but here in vanilla, we have to take care of it. So description element is document query selector um, hash dog description. Okay, and here we will use good old while loop. So, uh, how to solve the problem? I want to remove the children nodes of dog description as long as it has some some children note okay so I can write while description element has first child remove your first child okay uh, oh this should be remove child remove child. okay here it is so as long as there is a node below you, the node that you own, remove it. And once you remove all the nodes, just finish the function. Okay, so now this is nice. And yeah, we don't have double entries here. So this is kind of sorted out. Okay, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, um, there's this little problem, as you can see, uh, fetching the data from the internet might take a while. If you have good Wi-Fi connection or uh, Ethernet connection, this isn't an issue because it doesn't take that long. But if we simulate slow network connection here, we can do it by going to network and then click on no throttling and go to, for example, to slow 3G. 3G. Uh, now I can see that my whole requ request uh, took um, 200 milliseconds. If I add slow 3G as an emulated um, connection and try to fetch something, now it took way longer. Okay? And um, you should make your request as fast as possible with 
tricks like lazy loading, prefetching data, caching it, so forth and so on. But most of the time, you won't be able to escape the fact that fetching the data from API just takes some time. And if it takes um, longer than user normally expects, um, user starts to wonder whether there was a bug, why my data isn't here. So it's often good to present the loading state of our application. And we can do this simply by adding a node to our to our fantastic app. Let's call it loading and just say something is loading. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, that's oops. Let's save that. So yeah, this is information that the data is loading. Naturally, I don't want to display it from the very start. I would like it to display only during the, um, the fetching of the data and maybe creation of, of the new nodes. So I will go to main CSS and I'm going to say loading should have text aligned in the center font size font size of 20 pixels and display of none because I don't want to show it from the start okay but 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 if I'll add a class of show so loading, loading to it, I would like to actually naturally show it. Okay, so now uh, I can go to my main.js file and when I start, just before I start the request, I would like to show it. So I can do const loading element. It's actually document query selector of class loading. And then I can do loading element class list add add show loading. And this will show my loading. Okay. And then I can, after everything is set up correctly i can do class list remove show loading oops okay now it should be shown during the request okay loading and then it's gone and if i simulate flow 3g Loading, 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 loading. Takes time. And we have, oh, we don't have, uh, we don't have an uh, image there. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's do this again. Mm. Russian toy. Okay, and now when the data is shown, uh, the loading is gone. So we at least have that. Okay, well, what else would like to add here? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, we can style our uh, description a little bit because now it's looking kind of strange like it's being offset here a little bit well I don't really like it so let's do that so we have doggo description it should display flex 
age should justify content to center, align items to center, and flex direction should be column. Uh, also, I would like Docker description DT to be font size 24 pixels and Docker description, description DD to Martin. Okay. Yeah. Now it's better. Now it makes sense. Okay, what else? Um let's add a little something just to show you how to do simple animation. We can add um, the question that is bothering every single dog since the dawn of time who's a good doggo and let's add a class of class is going to be good doggo okay as you can tell probably nothing fancy here okay but we make it fancy no worry okay so good doggo mm. first i would like to have text align center text transform we can use text transform text transform uppercase okay and maybe disable that throttling okay if we do text uh, transform uppercase uh, for a given uh, for a given uh, class uh, it will make all letters uppercase even though we write it here normally okay and now i would like to add a little bit um a little bit of fanciness here so let's start like here we will start with opacity being set to zero and i can transform i can change one class um based on um other interaction with other element what i mean by that i can interact with an image i just wrote an image okay so uh, i can change the looks of this for example when i'm hovering on this those two nodes are siblings because they're next to each other in the dom tree and there's a sibling uh, selector in CSS that I can use to change this class when I'm hovering on that image. So uh, now I'm setting opposite to zero. So this isn't being shown because it's being fully opaque. 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 Something. I don't know. Um, and i can change it real easy by saying doggo image on hover find sibling and here we have this uh symbol it's over your tab it's tilde something like that uh, find sibling element with class good doggo and and change the opacity to one and change the color to green yellow okay let's try that and now when i'm hovering on african hunting dog it looks like hyena 
okay I can see it showing and hiding and this is fine but we can add simple animations to the sum of the properties to make it a little bit more fancy so I can use transition key on CSS and first thing first you need to specify the property that you'd like to animate to make transition for and I will make transition for opacity the next entry is saying how long you'd like it to take and one second should be fine and then uh, you specify the the curve describing the the tempo the velocity of the animation and i'm gonna use is in out so um, if i don't specify it the animation would go linearly from one point to the other from zero opacity to one opacity and stuff that is linear in animation um, as well as the stuff that happens in real life it doesn't look and doesn't feel natural so it's often good to use this is in is out uh, values to make it slower at the beginning then ramp it up and slower at the end so it looks like Gauss uh, curve okay and now if I hover over it you can see it being nicely animated okay let's fix another thing here and I'm gonna say transition we can animate the color with two seconds is out Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Nice. Nice animation. Fancy. Okay, so yeah, I believe this is it. And we pretty much finished uh, the Togo application. What is the most important stuff here? Well, actually, the most important part here is the fetching of the data and the fact that it takes time, so it returns a promise. So we can work with promises to get our data from API, or we can use the async await syntax. Uh, and I like async await better because uh, the same thing is being used, for example, in Dart language and it's familiar to me and also it doesn't break your line of thought other than you have to remember that await means we're awaiting for the values to come back to us so there you have it this is it and i'll see you in the next series maybe we'll start working in react i don't know hopefully but maybe see you then bye